Hey everybody, I'm Dharma and this is going to be a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers, anybody who is interested. Um, we do all kinds of stuff on this channel. This is going to be for an energy read for the most significant things that happen until the next time I do a reading. So it's going to capture quite a bit of things. Uh, private readings, yoga classes, meditations as a group, everything you need to know about what we're doing here as a tribe is in the box below. All right, this is the Brian Frouds Fairies Oracle. So, Libra, you have the healer first. We have the singer of healing. You have the she of the Kruak, the fairy godmother, which is always good, am I right? Uh, to Byra of the Waters, the Journeyman, the Least, the Alchemist, and the Spiritual Connection. Oh, geez, I'm just going to light some white candles. <laughs> so, if you've been watching the dailies, we use these cards. We've used these cards every single day for years. Okay, that's what we do on this channel. We hang out with the fairies. And you know how fairies can be. They are uh, little... Trixie. Alright, they tell you how it is. So let's go ahead and dive into this. The outcome of the situation is a spiritual connection. I kind of just want to like do the thing where you skip to the end of the book and see because, the, okay, so it's a six, so it's like the six of cups. The singer of connection, the singers in the fairy deck are the little, they're like the little sprites that you follow, except they're the ones that lead you. This is like a an arrow. It almost looks like it's pointing. This is the direction and their direction. And here's an ar your arrow up and here's your arrow down. Right? They were pointed to each other and it's like they collide. Now you have the journeyman here. You might be going somewhere. Alright, this is the Intuit Oracle. So, and then you say, wait, you're starting with the singer of healing. It's a new beginning. You're interacting with a person or a group or a thing that you're doing in a new way. You could, this could be someone new in your life. It could be um, a new situation, but long story short, new. And then you have the bunnies here, springtime, which is, you know, now. It really does feel like um, there's newness in the air. The other thing that I like is that in every single one of these cards, it's blue. And for me, that's blue. I often see Archangel Michael on a ray of blue. It's all very healing. It feels like a, a weight is being lifted. Because over here, you have to buy her of the water. And she is the one who allows change to come in. If you see that in her hand, she has water and she's just looking at it as it goes through her hands. And there you have like a right here, like a helper guide. And they're like, it's okay. Just trust. I keep hearing the word trust. And you might have a group of friends around you, other, other fairies, other like-minded folk who are proud of you. They are also I don't know this one here particularly this one here whoever she's maybe has really long dark hair but the look on her face is like I knew this was gonna happen it's there's a person in your life here it's sweet like there this is your friend here there's one friend here who is like oh yeah those two are going to wind up together. Like, absolutely. And then you just, it's just a group of friends. But this one down here, I feel like is a, you might have dreams or you might know your spirit guides personally. And they're just like, it's okay. Trust, trust, trust. Particularly because you have the fairy godmother who's out, who it's like has exchanged the apple. It's the apple for the exchange the apple
the apple for the pearl because an apple is an exchange. The apple is typically temptation, but a pearl is delicate. It's perfect. It's developed over time inside of a crab shell or, or um, clam shell, right? Is that right? How are oysters? How are? What's going on? It's a pearl, all right, man? It's nice. It's way better than a heckin' apple because the apple represents temptation. And when, and you can't eat this, you can't eat a pearl. You can only preserve it and take care of it. An apple, you eat it up and then you throw it away to decompose. And here you have she of the crew, which I'm probably saying that wrong, I always have. But it's the, it's, this is like the catcher's mitt for love or for fertility or for, um, I was going to say nutrients, but it's like, it's the catcher's mitt. It's the thing that, that holds, a, it's like a womb, right, for this. So what I'm saying is, after, you know, my point with this particular row, sometime during this time frame, you have a person who is either feminine or a masculine who is fe having their feelings, right? So vibing on their feminine side, which is okay, right? And they're allowing these things to flow through. They're allowing friends in, you know, but it does feel like they're being quiet. They, they're just kind of looking, focusing very hard on allowing this thing to flow. It feels like they have to focus on it really hard. Now, what is this? Oh, and so, here it is. What was the apple? It's a king of cups. This person could look at you with their eyebrows and the raven. And see, this is this lover's thing. That's my point. It's exchanging an apple for a pearl. That's beautiful. And so they're letting it happen here. Now, tell me about the journeyman. Who is this? J name could be relevant. N, C, G, H, and R. It's divine timing. It's the, it's perfect timing. It's serendipity. It is good luck. It is cohesive. It is. <laughs> Look at there it is again. It looks like a pearl. They're carrying it on their back, bringing it with them in order to preserve it. That's my point. You don't throw away a pearl, you take care of it. And it feels like it's at perfect timing. And here we are again perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, what is perfect? Okay, something that is perfect means that for you, it checks all of your boxes. And there's something here about having been persistent for a while that is making this happen. And here it is again with this pearl and the loons. That might have been what it was, this thing that has been growing like a seed or whatever this is. Like how does a pearl, how is a pearl created? Hold on, I live on a farm, there's a big old truck going by. How is a pearl created? With sand, correct? Sand and salt water? And it just, it just feels like over time, the, first of all, it's an uncommon bond. These are two people, if you're talking about a relationship, two people who've been waiting for a pearl to form, spiritually, right? You made you look, but that's what they've been doing. Somehow, it, it, especially with a spiritual connection, that's exactly what it feels like, that you have two people who know 
have always known in one way or another that something is there, but it has been forming. And so we've just been eating the apple, waiting until now, here it is. And I love it how all of the images keep looking like there's some kind of like pearl thing here. Now tell me about the spiritual connection. It's better with time, you knew that, and then here we are again with the trust thing. It does feel like a sudden surge of emotions. And I'm not necessarily, it's gentle though, like it's not an explosion, it, it's like a waterfall. There's two, it's very emotional, all of this. It's a flood of emotions. Tell me about that here. This is the Woodland Fairies. All right, what's this flood of emotions? The devil. See, and that's the other thing. These two people are tied together. That's for certain. But I think with this, that's why I'm saying she's sitting down trying very, very, very hard to just focus and stay calm because it she doesn't want to become like obsessive, but it's almost impossible. It's like she can't or whoever this is can't get the can't get you out of my head for your love is some my finger bells and Ten of cups, right, exactly. So you might go somewhere, there might be a campfire, there might be big trees, there might be like the bloomings of little flowers, but there are cups or cans or whatever everywhere. But it's, this is, I think it has more to do with the fact that this is so delicious, this set of cups, that it becomes like it feels obsessive. I think someone's trying to fight that and I think that at some point they're not going to be able to anymore. <clears throat> Three ones. Two ones. It's like a countdown. There's a lot of fire here. This is ri that's the other thing too. This could be really, 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 really passionate. Like extremely passionate. But there's also water everywhere. So it's water and fire. And then you have six of cups. So here we are with this. Soul connection, soul connection, soul connection, soul connection. We are looking at the pearl now. Here it is. And there is... Now, why is it so full of passion? I mean... Queen of Swords. Because... First of all, she's probably really hot. So we could be doing the red lipstick thing. <laughs> She could have her nails did. She's just gorgeous. Like, she is extremely desirable, but she's also very, very smart. She, it also might be a challenge to get to this one. And then the king of swords. I see. Well, that's, I mean, I'm like, why is it so passionate? It's because it's a good match. It's a perfect match. The chariot and the two of cups. And the Ace of Wands. And the other thing, the passion might be the thing that leads you guys together. So I'm doing the air sign readings today, and that's kind of what this feels like, is you've got, it's a lot of air here. This, this pearl, here it is again, looks just like that, is ready to be, I don't know, presented or caught in this catcher's mitt of nurturing and fertility and, you know, the mother of the universe type energy. These two people belong together and it's time to have them do so. It's exchanging the apple for the pearl, if that makes any sense. 
if this is something tangible, something that needs to be taken care of, and you're going to be taking care of it. Okay, so let's go to the extended and unpack all of this. The link for that is going to be in the box below. It'll take you to Vimeo, or you can go um, and join the membership side of this channel and get all of the extendeds unlimited. Don't forget to join us for the yoga, and there's all kinds of gear and sage and everything you need over on my website, dharmajane.com. And I do private readings, and until next time, join us for the dailies and uh, the daily moons. All right, bye.